know what's good youtube it's your boy md the coldest guy in the sea not really right now we're gonna do something that is kind of new to this channel but i kind of thought i'd share you something since school's returning in a couple of days i thought we'll talk more about in the school context for those who may know me i'm going into my final year of sixth form and my final year of being in St. Mary's. And I'm telling you, man needs to be prepared for his A-level exams, you get me? They're not gonna be easy, bro. Them A-level exams got people crying, they've got people think deep in life, deep in life to a certain level, to, to a maximum potential level, they're deep in life. I'm not trying to be them ones. I'm trying to go into A-levels prepared, ready for the challenge and with god on my side i can do it in jesus name so obviously to be prepared i need to get some supplies so that's why i have bought some supplies i bought some supplies here yeah, i had to get two bags because um I, I threw one away i originally had three but um it ripped so and i now have two so yeah in these are some clothing and some accessories school supplies that I bought myself for year 13. And I thought I'd show you what I got in it. So you guys can be, um, what's the word? Have an idea of what to buy for either the, the next academic year or sometime when you when you have free in it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more MD content. Turn on post notifications down below while you're at it. it really helps. Thanks, cheers. Right, before we get onto like some clothing, I'm gonna show you some accessories. Not really, not really that much accessories, I'll be real. Just, just the things that I, would, I, I, I said I, I needed anyway. I mean, with, with, with supplies, I didn't really get that much. I only got like four items. First up, we got a ruler, and not just any ruler. We got a foldable ruler, just so it could fit in my pencil case. Reason being is because for some reason I lost my other one, so man needs another one, and it means I, I don't have to ask anyone to borrow a ruler. I can just. Or use my protractor as well. So yeah, I just I just thought I'd buy a ruler just so I, I had one. Yeah, that's probably that's literally the only reason. Next up, we have a pencil case. I haven't opened this yet, but this pencil case is fat, and there's a reason for that. This is not just any pencil case. If you have noticed, there's a zip on each side. So there's a zip on this side, and there's a zip on that side. If you've got brains, you would know that this is indeed a double suitcase. I can't lie, when I saw this, I, I, obviously it came with this, we don't care about those. When I saw this um, in the shop, I was actually amazed that this existed. And it was really, and I really liked it. It was really perfect for me, just because I have a lot of pens and accessories in my pencil case to the point where I'm carrying two pencil cases. And knowing that this is probably big enough to fit everything that I can, into one side of the pencil case it literally means i only need to carry one pencil case at the end of the day so that's really beneficial and it's a bargain as well i think this was um well, I, I forgot the price but i've got the receipts here it doesn't matter this is a double pencil case so i can put more stuff in like so let's so let's say if one side gets full i can put other stuff in um the other side of the pencil case but knowing me i'm probably gonna do some some next level op o, opc ocd type stuff and put certain stuff on and certain stuff on one side and other stuff on the other side but i'm gonna sort that out at the end at the end of this video well after this video is ended so yeah by the way just to add after further inspection of the pencil case i realized that pencil case fully saved me for a lifetime for context there was two problems i had with my previous pencil cases that i used in year 12. one of the problem was that my pencil case that i used to have the clear one ripped in fact it ripped since year 11 i just couldn't replace it in year 12. literally i had so much pens in that pencil case so me trying to zip it up literally would leave it like a big hole and if i put in my pencil case some pens would fall over the second problem was that every time i had to get my stuff out i carry a heavy bag by the way because i've got loads of stuff which i have cleared by the way for the coming year but at the time it was hard to get my pencil cases out and in cases i wanted to get my highlighters out i had to fully rummage around my bag just to get them out it was hard to get them out and it was just jarring so not only did i get a clear pencil case for this year knowing that i have exams i've basically just solved two problems with one with one thing and i did check the price it was seven pounds but 
I promise you now, go to WH Smith if you find them. If you find that pencil case in WH Smith, the best seven pounds you're going to spend in your entire life if you carry so much stuff. I promise you now, it is a, it saved my life. It's a complete bargain for me. It could be a bargain for you. WH Smith is not sponsoring me to say this, by the way. I'm fully just saying this out of my own gratitude and my own gratefulness. Please, I, I rec, I do recommend this pencil case, by the way. Like, go check it out. Up next, I got a A4 notebook with um, 160 pages. For those who also don't know, I am I am very picky when it comes to certain things. For 10 minutes straight, I was actually looking at the notebook section, seeing which notebook to get, and which notebook was right for me. I wanted a notebook that was like that like had this type, and also when I when when I fold it like this, because sometimes I, I do write my stuff like this, I, I would have paper and I would have space to write and obviously this notebook has them little things at the side that you can just tear off if you make a mistake it wasn't just that i was i also wanted to like i also wanted the quality of the notebook because obviously you have to think logically mindfully um because sometimes it's gonna rain every time you go to school and if, and if your bag's not waterproof then nine times out of ten some of the things in your bag could get destroyed so i wanted a notebook that was at least waterproof enough to keep all of my notes intact and the fact that i had a little binder thing a little rubber band thing it also means that it's it, it's not gonna open that easily i just bought a notebook to simply put all my revision notes down and and to write some things that i'm struggling with as well my i told you man needs to be prepared man you think i'm going to a levels with empty handed nah man that's not that we can't run that we can't run that the man's gonna be serious this year um so yeah i i literally came prepared with, with this i also got a binder this this may not look like a binder it says expanding organizer but we had to buy a i had to buy a binder for the amount of notes i'm gonna have last year i had some notes all over the place I, i'm sorry i'm trying to keep everything in one place if you open it obviously you have all the the pockets here so i can just put um papers in each pocket i i was tempted i was tempted to buy two but then realizing that it was probably gonna go over the budget if I if I bought two, and plus, and plus the only reason I bought this because one of my teachers suggested that I buy a binder for one of my subjects. But because I already have like two like folders in my bag already, even though they're like paper, I thought I'd use it. I, I thought I'd use this for one of my other subjects, which is maths, because. I've got a lot of stuff for maths that's just all over the place. It needs sorting, so I, I bought this for maths. But I may, I may use it for psychology as well because we were we were advised that as well instead of using them paper folders that get ripped every two months. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much all the accessories that I bought. But a part of that, I bought some new clothing to get ready for the new year. There's gonna be a video somewhere around this timeline that I that I've tried the mod and I give you a 360 so you guys can see how it looks on me and so that you know I look good in it. Yeah no you know what I'm saying that like, first and foremost um we got a white shirt. This is you like I did I did try these on beforehand and um, when when I was was at the shops because obviously yeah I had to know which fit to get. I got a white shirt simply because I haven't worn a white shirt. The last in fact the last time I wore a white shirt was year eleven and year 12 i didn't wear any white shirt and my mom just gave all the white shirts that i had to africa so i just i wanted to have a white shirt just so i could wear this more and i wanted to um free uh, mix with the style of clothing i was gonna wear to sixth form so i just bought a simple white shirt a uh, regular fit seven pounds not too much next up we've got the footwear we've got obviously these shoes i got this from shoe zone by the way if you get new shoes definitely smell them 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for the smell, really good. This is normally where I get most of my school shoes every year. I pick these ones purposefully just because of the quality of the shoe and the stitching at the bottom. It really shows that this could last me a good eight months before they start getting rusty. And because it's my last year, eight months is literally all I need. I liked how they looked. I liked how they looked. I liked how they felt on me. I got a size 10 and they fit me absolutely perfectly. I liked how they, I liked how they um, felt around my foot. So yeah, I, just, I decided to get these. Not too, not too, not too brandy and not too complicated. Just simple, but very, very, very technical and very um, detailed. I also got this um, 
very, very cool blazer from Primark. Set me about 30 pounds. I don't know if you can see, but it's it's a navy blue. Um, I, th This may not look navy blue to some people, but I promise you this is blue. In fact, reflecting from the light in my room, you can see that it's blue. I bought a navy blue blazer just because um, I simply needed one. Um, I was meant to get one last year when I was going into sixth form in general when I was going to year 12 But because we were over the budget, I couldn't get it So literally I had to wait a whole year just so I can get my hands on these and Fun fact this blazer by itself was the most problematic. It was the hardest item to get for a cheap price as well So um, yeah, God th God saved me um, with this so I'm very grateful so finally got my blazer. With the blazer, we got some trousers. Um, but again, they look more blue on camera than they do than, than the blazers, simply because this is the lighter shade of blue. I don't know what it is, but the, the, blazer, the, the blue blazer selection that I had to pick from weren't the same shade as the trousers for some reason, but it, it, the, shade, the shade difference is hardly no, noticeable. Anyone with really good eyes will notice the difference, but I don't think it's that deep because I'm literally only gonna be wearing this to school. Like, where else am I gonna be wearing it? So yeah, I just bought the trousers with it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And got myself a jumper, a cool black jumper that I'm gonna wear with my gray and black suit that I've been wearing for the past year and will continue to wear again for the next eight months. I bought a jumper because I simply just missed my jumper era. Like I remember year 11, I, I would always, if I'm not even just year 11, year 10, year nine, year eight and year seven, I would always bash out jumpers because they were just comfortable. I hope you missed having a jumper on me when I was in year 12 and I tried alternatives, but the teacher just won't allow it. So simply put it, I just bought one that I can wear to school and be comfortable in. And this is and this one this one was fairly cheap for it being a next one of the most expensive shops out there. So yeah, I'm very I'm very glad it really fit me well. I liked how it looked. I tried it on with the t-shirt. I like I like I liked how it looked. So yeah. Very, very comfortable as well. Very woolly as well. The only downside is it if like the inside it will make like the shirt like have like them furs, but you can just get them things and just roll it off. It's, it's never that deep. But yeah, all of that stuff set me back 120 pounds. And I kind of went a little bit over the budget because of the shoes. If it weren't for the fact that I went over the budget, I was gonna buy myself a new watch as well, but that's probably gonna have to be for another day. And I've got a watch that I can wear for like a little bit before I have to change anyway, so that's no problem for me. But yeah, that that's my haul, I guess. Um, I have, no, I have nothing really else to show you guys besides the stuff I bought. But yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications down below, code 13 coming soon. And with all that being said, I'll see you lot in a bit. Take care and peace. Dear God, I thank you that I've made it this far. I thank you that you've opened doors for me and lifted me up into higher places. As I go into year 13, Lord, I just pray that you bless me with wisdom, prosperity, and intelligence. I declare blessings over my school, my friends, and my teachers in the name of Jesus. Whatever I do, Lord, whether in word or deed, may it be for the glory of your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.